Hello and welcome back. Now we're gonna switch topics a little bit and talk about something that is near and dear to all of our hearts, customer feedback. So let's hear a story. Amazon.com. We all know it, most of us use it, and we've all seen the customer reviews on it. For many, it's the tipping point between buying and not buying. If there's a product and you don't see any verbal customer feedback, you're like, eh, this product probably isn't that good. We bounce. Even if it's highly rated, we just bounce. So what if we utilize this kind of customer feedback in a different way? Right now, I'd like to introduce all of you to Ricardo Osti from Wonderflow. Hi, Ricardo. How are you? Hey, Donna. Thanks. Uh, thanks for the introduction. Uh, it was brilliant. Uh, very good. Very good. Wonderful. Excited to be here. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, can you tell us a little bit about Wonderflow? What is the mission of your company? What kind of work do you do? And we will take it from there. Yes, sure. So we are uh, a company um, uh, based, um, uh, let's say, in Europe with our headquarters in Europe. We have some offices in different locations, but we operate globally. And our mission is to analyze customer feedback, exactly what you just described. We started uh, now many years ago analyzing Amazon reviews, and then we expanded to many more websites from which, uh, where we uh, gather reviews. And then we expanded to uh, approximately 200 different data sources, including uh, internal data of the company. And today, I think we are uh, discussing the opportunity for companies to use Wonderflow and Microsoft Dynamics 365 mm -hmm. customer voice to uh, analyze two types of feedback, which are the most important ones which is structured feedback, which you normally get in Microsoft Dynamics 365 customer voice, and unstructured, unsolicited feedback, such as, for example, online reviews that you normally would analyze with Wonderflow. Right. So what I find to be very, very interesting about customer feedback, I run a small business myself, is that I... I'm much more likely to trust qualitative feedback from people who do not work at the company. So random strangers' feedback, to me, is, resonates much more than experts or, you know, just kind of curated numbers and testimonials and quotes done by the company. I'm much more likely to believe this feedback when I know that the people leaving it have absolutely no skin in the game. And I'm sure you see that a lot with... All of all of the people you work with, so Ab absolutely, absolutely. This I mean, concept uh, of it, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, more, more than more than eighty percent of people admit that they trust reviews of people that they don't know mm -hmm. more than the advice of friends. Yes. So you're absolutely right. Yeah, exactly. Because I think for years we've been hearing that oh, people trust the advice of experts and people they know above strangers. But actually that's not true because we're all quite biased. Um, and if everyone around us is doing something doesn't necessarily mean it's the best option. Um, so tell me a little bit about how you work, how Wonderflow works with Dynamics 365 customer voice to provide the service and what does your product look like? So if there's a business who wants to implement, what does that process look like? So it is, it is, I think, our, our specialty and also our strength since the early days is to combine all the different technologies that are necessary for the analysis into our product. Mm -hmm. um, what we recognize as the very big difficulty in brands to learn and act on customer feedback is that if you want to analyze, you, man, you, you named Amazon, you named reviews. So if you want to analyze reviews on Amazon, you need to, it sounds something quite simple. You just go there you pick the review and you do the analysis. But if you really want to do it uh, in a scientific way and if you want to do it at scale, which is the, normally the case of enterprise clients, you need to put together about 15 different technologies which mm -hmm. are necessary to find the data, to download it, to clean it, to do the natural language processing, mm -hmm. to do prediction, to do visualizations. We take care of the entire process. So this is also very simple in... Um, uh, with our integration with Microsoft Dynamics, where, for example, a user can simply add the URL uh, of a page where a product is sold and there are reviews. We automatically download those reviews, we make the analysis, and we publish the results inside Microsoft Dynamics 365. So you do not have to leave uh, the platform. Of course, you can always use also our dashboard, the Wonderboard, but mm -hmm. it's so simple. Just add the link, and we take care of the rest. I, but we, I, I also have a demo for you. 
I want to see that. What I really appreciate about your product is you get rid of this idea that a business owner also has to be a data scientist <laughs> to be able to go and get their customer feedback. Because I'll tell you, most business owners do not have these skills. They don't have the tech skills to be a developer or a data scientist unless the company they are running is a data science company or is a software company. But your normal person on the street who's selling a thing, such as e-commerce, there's no way they have the skills to do this and run their business at the same time. So thank you from a business owner to another business owner. I appreciate it. I would love <laughs> to you, see your demo if you're up for it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, think, I think we can, we can see the demo. Let's uh, see it. I also, I, I also completely agree on, on what you said. Mm -hmm. uh, our mission is to um, uh, give uh, accessibility to mm -hmm. learnings uh, from customers of feedback uh, because normally they stay within the technical p team mm -hmm. uh, but uh, are the business people normally that can benefit the most from them so we try to bring them uh, to their desk. That's right. So everyone in the company has access to the data, not just the tech folks. Everyone from the CEO to the marketing person to the CFO to the salespeople. So they, everyone can make better decisions, but it's also structured in a way where everyone can understand the results and you don't need to be an expert at reading charts and graphs to get it. Every, yeah. Everyone is aligned mm -hmm. on the same data, on the yeah. same words, on everything, because it's mm -hmm. so simple for everyone. We are the simplest solution to analyze customer feedback. I love it. All right, let's see, let's see this product. I'm, I'm super sold, I wanna see it. Let's see it. Dynamics 365 customer voice makes it easy for you to collect customer feedback and get insights by sending surveys from the portal. For this demo, we will use a recently created survey. Customer Voice includes a satisfaction metric dashboard that reports the customer satisfaction results from your surveys. Thanks to the new integration with Wonderflow, you can enrich this data by integrating other feedback records, such as customer feedback of all kinds from e-commerce platforms. To get started, you can simply add a URL to a product page that contains customer reviews. In this case, we will use a product page from Amazon. Wonderflow will extract and analyze the customer rating and more importantly, the free text comments on your target URL using our advanced AI. As with any other metric on customer voice, you can set up alerts. For example, you could receive a notification when your star rating drops. Once reviews are analyzed, they are pulled inside the customer voice dashboard. The new analytics and visualizations will appear together with your direct survey insights. The analytics will show how the rating of the product changes over time, as well as what features are mentioned more frequently by your customers together with their sentiment score. You can also change your data view by applying filters, such as the date filter. In this way, you can drill down on your analytics and, for example, check the specific NPS results for a certain day. This makes it easy to identify issues and spot opportunities. Using Wonderflow together with Microsoft Dynamics 365 Customer Voice lets you track the actual reviews on your product without having to leave the dashboard. As you can see, Wonderflow analysis has identified specific features that are mostly mentioned in customer reviews and also determined the sentiment that is associated with them. You can review these insights on Customer Voice on Wonderflow proprietary dashboard called the Wonderboard or on any other business intelligence platform. Wow, okay. So those analytics are so good that even I can understand them as a non-analytics person. <laughs> so thank you. That's, that's a great demo and it really shows to anyone in the world how simple it is to actually see their customers' data. Um, I did have a nerd question for you though. So you said that whenever a star rating drops, uh, the owner, let's say owner or team member, gets a notification of some sort that a, that a star a rating has dropped. How does that happen? What tech do you use to do it? Uh, so, so let's say we um, uh, the well the notification system is quite simple. Mm -hmm. The way we calculate the uh, rating uh, 
instead i think it's it's very interesting because uh, um, if you normally look at websites mm -hmm. uh, for example uh, amazon they uh, the star rating that you see there mm -hmm. it's not the real uh, average of all the star ratings that you get um, but but it's basically uh, uh, a, their own um, average. So it, it doesn't reflect the reality and it doesn't reflect the very uh, exact moment uh, of that day when you maybe have a drop. Mm -hmm. So our technology in that case is able to determine uh, whether in a specific period of time there is a specific drop or a peak, which mm -hmm. is maybe something that you want to advertise. Mm -hmm. And that's when the notification happens. But the notification system is just... Uh, uh, a very simple notification. Uh, the, what, what is difficult, and, and, and this is a good example, is to make sure that we um, put together different technologies, for example, the alert uh, system, right. together with the capability of collecting reviews and making a real-time average and all these kinds of things that you, mm -hmm. you just put uh, your URL there and you get the results and you don't see uh, all these things happening in the background. Wow. Okay. So you, you just try to make it as simple as possible for the business owner. So they know exactly what they need to know and everything they don't need to know, you take care of in the background. Exactly. Which exactly. Is fantastic. Really good. And, and it triggers, simplicity triggers mm -hmm. uh, uh, new, new possibilities, new things. Right. So what you could do, for example, is not just look at what customers are saying about your products or mm -hmm. services, but also what they're saying about competitor products. Mm -hmm. So in, in the same platform, you can also study competition, which is normally something that you cannot do with your structured mm -hmm. internal data. That's right. Because then you'd have to set up like some sort of a compete dashboard on the side. You'd have to say, here's my dashboard, here's a compete dashboard, and do a bunch of extra work to go and maybe do a teardown and scrape their product reviews and get their feedback, somehow get it. Yeah, that's exactly. interesting. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's very, very cool, Ricardo. So where are you all based? So we are, we are based, I am based in Amsterdam, so ah, it's Amsterdam. seven in the morning mm -hmm. now. <laughs> I'm originally from Rome and we have other two offices in Europe. One is in the Italian Alps where we have our tech center uh, that make the magic happen. Mm -hmm. um, and we have another commercial office in Milan. So let's say we have three offices in Europe. We will open one close to you probably in the, Uni in the United States uh, in, the, in the near future. Yeah. If you need anyone to travel and see your team in the Italian Alps, I volunteer as tribute for this one and make sure all the engineering is <laughs> like, you know, on point. And uh, if you need any help integrating with Dynamics or Power Platform, so we, I'm, I'm we happy. Did it, uh, <laughs> we, did it, we did it in the first days. We said, okay, we have an office in Amsterdam where it's completely yeah. flat. We <laughs> want to give diversity also to uh -huh. uh, our customers. And mm -hmm. we've put another one in the mountains. So you can <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that is fantastic. Yeah. So... How have you found uh, the Ignite conference so far? Are you learning things that's helping you yeah. make improvements to Wonderflow? Yeah, so no, I, I think I think it's uh, it's it's interesting, and I, I I mean obviously this is probably um, more for um, technical uh, people uh, to for developers, mm -hmm. uh, no. But I think the uh, content is presented in a way that is very interesting and accessible to everyone. More or less the mm -hmm. same goal that we want to achieve with yeah. uh, Wonderflow and Microsoft together, mm -hmm. make complex things simple and accessible. I think that's the goal of. Uh, Ignite of this conference, and I think it's very successful in that. Well, that makes me really happy because the whole point of Ignite is not to overly focus on the technical implementation because people can figure out the technical implementation, but it's to just paint the bigger picture. Thank you so much for talking, Ricardo. To learn more about Thank Dynamics you. 365 customer voice, please check out our on-demand session, The State of Microsoft 365 Customer Engagement or Microsoft Dynamics 365 Commerce and Connected Store. I highly recommend you do that one. Thank you, Ricardo, for being here. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Checkpoint.